What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a really cool video. Forgive my voice, man. I'm getting over a bit of a cold. I love carbon fiber and of course we all love performance modifications and we get to blend both in today's video. Let's check it out. We have a new carbon fiber intake for our ZL1 Camaro and this one is from Cold Air Inductions. Carbon fiber is like my addiction. But let's unbox this thing and get to installing. So I pulled a rack out of my engine bay. I'm glad I didn't, didn't. I'm glad I didn't go drive it. I haven't driven this car in about a week and a half. Spent some time with family over the holidays for Thanksgiving. But guys, this is a Rotofab. This is what most people are going to buy because this is the one that's mostly advertised, and it does give a lot of that blower wine that everybody loves. Honestly, this looks. You know, at home, it looks good in the engine bay, but I am a sucker for carbon fiber. When Cold Air Inductions contacted me, and they're like, dude, would you like an intake that's carbon fiber? I mean, uh, yes, definitely. This is kind of cool because we have a rare opportunity that most are not going to do. I don't think that anybody on YouTube has done this yet, so please subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, get people on board because we cannot grow without your help, and make sure you turn the notification bell on because what we're going to do is install this new carbon intake and then we're going to actually test it up against this rotafab i think it'd be a really cool comparison video that i don't think anybody's done yet when you do some kind of an intake like this you develop you get a little bit more of that blower wine that we all love but as far as performance and drivability and sound all of that encompassed in like one video guys we are going to do it we're going to put this and this head to head and then maybe we can actually get these things on the dyno and see what the actual power differences between the two are all right Ooh, heavily packaged good nice and lightweight carbon is extremely light oftentimes a lot lighter than some of your um your heavy duty plastics this one is an open box design this is designed to actually seal up against the hood as best as possible this one is a closed air box design with a see-through window you know one of the things that we can talk about which we will do in a drive a test drive video is iats we're going to talk about that because with this one yes it sounds good we get a lot of that blower one but we do have some high iats and i'm hoping that and with a closed air box design, we can actually combat that because I would rather give up a little blower wine for better performance. Get everything laid out. Here's the big box. This thing is super Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Look at this thing. Oh man. Dude. <laughs> this is so sick. Look at this carbon weave. Oh my gosh. That is freaking eye candy, dude. Oh, that's so sexy. Holy cow, dude. Look at this. So, okay, so that's how that fits in there. But man, dude, check this out. Look at that carbon weave. It looks so good. This stuff is not like, you know, hydro dip. This is actual carbon. This is freaking gorgeous. So this is um, definitely an expensive modification. These intakes are not cheap, but guys, check out the video descriptions if you want to pick one of these up for a good deal. Part of owning one of these cars is, you know, how special they are. When we pop the hood, we want everything to look like really great. I think that this is going to really, really help us out. That's a big filter. Dude, check this thing out. But if you don't have a Camaro and you want to pick one of these up, go check out their website again. Links down below in the description. All right, here's your first comparison. So <laughs> I got to take this thing apart, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. Look at the uh, the size difference on the filter itself versus the Rotofab. Uh, so major difference here. And then we'll put them on the table and do a, a nice little side by side, so you guys can uh, really tell. I mean, that's pretty promising right there. Seeing the size difference. All right, guys, lucky you get a bit of a head to head in this video. So we'll do a lot of the driving stuff in the next one. Now I want to highlight something really quick. This is all made of metal. This is not plastic, so metal heats up. You know, maybe this is uh, coated in such a way that it reflects some heat. And of course, you know, it's designed to kind of seal up against the hood and everything but what i want to say is that it's very heavy not that that really matters you know uh adding a couple of pounds here or there but just something to keep you know note of now here's the filters side by side now if we put the filter side by side again i said that the uh, new one is a little bit bigger actually so about the same there but it's a little bit longer will that uh increase you know performance i don't know the rotofab is a nice piece they're definitely expensive these are about twice the money but again i mean look at what you're getting here so as far as weight 
carbon fiber weighs nothing. This is definitely not even a pound. This is probably like one pound. I mean, it's extremely lightweight, very durable, has some really cool like cooling properties to it um, because it's not gonna retain as much heat. Arguably, unless you go with like a, a big gulp or something that you actually have to tune for on one of these, it's mostly just for sound. You know, you may pick up uh, a couple of horsepower here and there, but if you're mostly doing it for sound and looks, I mean, why not go with something like this? We're gonna quit rambling, install this in the car. I just wanna be able to, you know, put these side by side together because I don't think anybody has done this yet. Future videos, we're gonna cover more in depth uh, the differences between the two, so get ready and definitely pay attention to the channel. But, um, but yes, let's throw this in the car. This is easy enough to install. The uh, push pins are already uh, embedded into our carbon box here. A foam piece that's gonna seal up against the, the factory uh, inlet here. It's going to keep uh, debris and you know hot air out of it as much as possible. This should be easy enough honestly. So you got six screws and the way this is going to work is this will slide in home into the, our carbon box here and this is going to screw right into the side of the filters and then and then and then you have your connector here. Grommet, uh, I don't know what this is called but this coupler. Uh, this side the throttle body so it is science specific, you wanna get that right. So this set of throttle body goes in like that. So easy enough, you just take those little Allen head bolts and you've got six of them and then just kinda of go in like a, a crisscross or however, whatever pattern. Don't go King Kong on them. I mean, this is, uh, you know, it doesn't need to be an extreme torque rating, but just get them nice and tight so that there won't be any, um, you know, breakage of seal, any leaks or anything like that. So the next step is gonna to be to install our air box and to make sure that, again, this foam piece right here seals up nicely against uh, what's already in the car. All right, now before you put any kind of an intake on one of these cars, uh, you wanna make sure that your hoses are like out of the way. So these have been repositioned. If you see this push clip here, this Christmas tree, that would have went into the side of the factory air box. We don't have that. We wanna make sure that these lines are not gonna rub up against our uh, belt here. So just a simple zip tie fixes that, just word of the wise. So what I'm gonna do is actually install this as like one unit. I'm gonna slide this into its home here and then slide it all in together at an angle and we should have no issues so let's give it a try okay guys we're done I got everything installed everything is about a 9 out of 10 fit so um you know just a little bit of uh you know wiggling things around to get it to to line up properly honestly I'm very impressed with it uh and I'm gonna clean it up and then we're gonna peel off this this right here this window protector and then honestly that's gonna be about it for the install and then we're gonna take it for a drive and then we're gonna monitor the IETs we're gonna see how the blower sounds you know versus the rotofab and all that so that is definitely coming up on the channel so definitely like I said stay tuned so we're gonna wipe it down, but the final step really is to reveal our new window. Look at that, that looks so sharp. This looks delicious, guys, in the engine bay. This is what it looks like. So, definitely a different look. And I love carbon fiber stuff, man. <laughs> like I said, I'm a sucker for it. Alright, let me clean this up. And we'll pan the camera around it one more time. Just you're not looking at it all dirty. And that way you get the full experience. And we're back. So I uh, just took some detail spray and wiped it down. But man, again, even better now. It's all clean. Look how gorgeous this looks. So, oh, these engine bays are so nice and clean and tidy already. But that is just kind of the icing on the cake, guys. This is the Cold Air Inductions Elite Carbon Go check them out. Links again down in the video descriptions. Boy, so now what we gotta do is uh, just, you know, finish everything up, clean up my mess, and then we're gonna hop in the car and then we're gonna take it for a test drive. So that'll be the next video, I think. And then that way we can separate the two of them. And then we're gonna do our Rotofab versus Cold Air Inductions video because I think you guys would really enjoy it. I'm certainly interested and would like to see a comparison like that because because again I don't think that that video exists on YouTube or on any forms as far as head-to-head back-to-back -to -back testing. Maybe I'm wrong but I certainly haven't seen a video so but anyway that is going to be coming your way so again subscribe, like, share this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Get ready for the first drive with our new cold air inductions. Let's see how the sound is. Let's see how the IETs are. See if we have any improvements over the last setup. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Goodbye. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. Nah. Hopefully all of you guys out there had a pleasant holiday. The Thanksgiving holiday. Um, on our 2018, new to me 2018, is it bad? We're doing it. No.
We are here for our first perform. We're here. Mm. I'm getting a bit. I'm getting a bit. I'm getting. A, I'm getting frustrated.